We also recall Huehuidiatl the god of fire, the sacrificial lamb that erases the sins of the world. Huehuidiatl is the fire, it is Enri, and the fire burns in everything that is, in everything that has been, and in everything that will be, upon the cross of the cosmic Christ, the word Enri is written, Ignis Natura Renovator, fire incessantly renews nature, Enri is the cosmic Christ, Enri is the fire, the dances of fire were truly extraordinary in the ancient land of Anahuac, you have already seen a glimpse of what these sacred dances are, no one truly knows fire, if for example, we strike a match fire emerges, many believe it is a process of chemical combustion, but they are mistaken. Fire is not the result of combustion. What happens is that, by striking the match, the latent fire enclosed there comes to the surface, free to express itself. But the hand that strikes needs fire to move, and after the match is finished, the fire continues. Thus fire is what it is, what it has always been, what it will always be. Fire will always be a subject of the stars. We are deeply interested in understanding the astral subject of fire. Obviously, such a subject is the inner Christ the cosmic Christ, the fire of fire, the flame of the flame is the Christ, is the logos, is the word, fire is crucified in the earthly world, if we strike a stone with a steel link, we will see fire emerge because fire constitutes life, fire is the power of powers, fire is life itself, we come into existence through fire, and we cease to exist when the fire of life withdraws, all processes of life and death exist because of fire, now you will understand why Huehuidiatl the god of fire, was revered so much. Now you will understand why there were ritual dances of fire in ancient Mexican land, because fire is always worthy of regeneration. Now you will also understand through analogies, why the Persians worshipped fire. Now you will understand why the Vestal Virgins always lit the fire in ancient Rome. Brothers, now it is only up to us to return to the cults of fire. Now, it is only up to us to ignite the fire of love in our hearts. We must kindle the flame of the spirit with the marvelous fire of love. Friends, remember that our motto, watchword, this motto, only through the erotic contact of Alan Leva, can the flame within ourselves sprout. Here and now, vernal peace.